Hey, welcome to this radio channel and this is a little website that is interesting. If you are interested in listening to uh, aero communications, that's aeronautical stuff, uh, airplanes over their routes over the Pacific, Atlantic, so on, um, there's a nice little website here that pretty much puts a lot of information that you might need. It's uh, canairradio.com, and I'll be posting the link in the description below the video. When you look at the uh, Can Air f uh, list, it has all the different frequencies for different uh, routes. So, n for example, North Atlantic, Family A, you got the frequencies, what airports you will hear, and uh, you've got all the frequencies for different routes. It's very interesting. You've got Caribbean, South American, um, South Atlantic, you've got Africa routes, you've got Indian Ocean, Middle East, Europe, uh, North Central Asia, East Asia, South Asia, uh, East Pacific, North Pacific, South Pacific. It's a very, very nice list of frequencies. Now remember that all of these communications, um, usually what happens is on the ground, most uh, planes will talk to their um, airports. For example, here on over Montreal, planes will talk on VHF and UHF frequencies. But once they are pretty far off, say over the, the ocean, well, VHF and UHF is line of sight, so it doesn't, you know, go very far. Basically, they will switch to HF frequencies, which is on shortwave. So don't expect to hear communications right away. You know, maybe you'll tune one and you'll hear immediately something. But you know what? Check these frequencies, put them in your radio, and leave the radio on on that frequency and listen for a while. And you will hear uh, aeronautical frequency communications. Um, it does happen quite often. And of course, choose the frequencies depending time of day. So, you know, higher frequencies in the day, lower frequencies at night. Uh, of course, these are low power. So hearing stuff that is very far from you is more difficult than what's close to you. So trying to hear Pacific stuff when you're on the Atlantic side of North America or you're in Europe is more difficult than listening to local stuff like North Atlantic comms. Uh, when you're in uh, Europe or North America. So check it out. A uh, nice little list of frequencies here. Very simple. And uh, it's really cool because it gives you all the cities that these frequencies will actually be used. Uh, so very, very nice list of frequencies here. And it's the major world air routes areas frequencies. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. We try to post as often as we can, almost every day when we can. And of course, give us thumbs up if you like the videos. And uh, I really would like to have your suggestions. You want to learn something about shortwave? You want to learn something about radio in general? You want uh, frequencies for something? Why not ask and we'll try to post a video to uh, help you. And you know what? If you are asking yourself that question, there's a lot of people that are asking that same questions. So thank you so much and hope to hear from you.